Yo, what's up guys? My name is Debo Roy and in this video, I'll be showing you guys my favorite snacks from Japanese convenience stores. So let's check it out. So this is not your regular convenience store. This is what I call super convenience store. Convenience stores in Japan have items for pretty much all needs. You can grab your morning coffee and then come back for lunch and also get your favorite magazine here. You can get some basic medicines as well. They also have smaller electronic items and kitchen supplies. And of course, it's open 24 hours, 365 days. It's literally so convenient, you just can't avoid coming here. There are convenience stores pretty much everywhere in Japan. The place where I live in the outskirts of Tokyo, for example, there are about four different convenience stores within five to 10 minutes walking distance where I go a few times a week for snacks, coffee, also to pay my bills such as electricity and gas. The things I'm most excited about though are the exclusive snacks that are sold here. All the different convenience stores have pretty much the same kind of snacks which I'm gonna try today. So let's go eat. Okay, so I'm back to my studio and right now I'm gonna be eating a lot of snacks, super excited. And I'm gonna eat this first. This is called American Dog. Actually, this is my first time eating this. It's, it has been almost five years in Japan. I never tried this. Let's see what's inside. Interesting. It's got like a really sweet taste. <laughs> so as you can see, there is like a sausage inside. And uh, it's really interesting. The sausage has its, has its own taste. At the same time, the outer layer has like corn and uh, some sort of uh, flour. This is my first time eating this and I love it. So good! Dun -dun -dun. So guys, the next one is Pizza Man. This is my personal favorite and I have been eating this for more than four years now. Let's try. Mm. It's always good. It's always a pleasure meeting you. <laughs> it's always. I hope you can see. There's a paste. So there's a paste of uh, cheese, tomato, and uh, I believe some sort of sauce. I don't know what sauce is this, but this is so good. <laughs> but I love this because it's cheap, tasty. Also, probably not the ha healthiest thing ever, but definitely. It, it just tastes good. Next up guys, Pocky. So Pocky is famous all around the world, I believe. And uh, in Japan though, I think there are so many different flavors that you can choose from. I got two, there's one more I got is coconut chocolate. And this one is uh, strawberry, as you can see. Coconut chocolate, Ta -da -da. strawberry, coconut chocolate. So I love this because this is something you want to eat when you are like getting annoyed because your friend is late and you want to just kill time. But again, this is more than killing time. This is something they call share happiness. <laughs> Wait, is that the right way to open? Yeah, it is very easy to open like bang. And then there are two packets inside. Uh, let me show you. And this is how it looks. Pokey. All right. This is my pokey. It's very, it's basically a stick you know with uh sugar coating i mean uh, strawberry and other stuff this is super sweet but it's got a lot of flavor uh, i can feel the you know the strawberry i don't think it's strawberry extracts but like there is some sort of red thing here and i feel that strawberry extracts it just got a lot of raw taste but at the same time a lot of sugar it's worth it i love it okay let's do the next one Okay, am I in focus? Yep. So guys, we have our Japanese friend, Mitsu. Hey guys, I'm Mitsu. I'm from Japan. <laughs> Hello YouTube. So he's my neighbor and also my friend. Uh, and he's gonna talk more about Japanese convenience store snacks. Curry, curry noodle. noodle. Curry noodle. Yeah. yeah. By the way, uh, curry noodle, basically ramen. Right? Mm. It's a ramen from Cup Noodle Company. It looks like this guy. Oh my god! Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Itadakimasu! Don't spill, okay? <laughs> okay, tabate. Uh. He forgot about the review. He's enjoying the food now. Yeah, mecha mecha. Mecha oishi desho. So, how long have you been eating this? It's a karate. 
これも小学校ね3年生ぐらいから、oh, 小学校3年生 That's crazy、mm. That's long time Yeah yeah So he is an expert you know, He's Japanese So he knows this food なんでなんで有名これ Why? うんまあ、そもそも日清っていう会社が大きい会社がでかいし、うん、なんだろうな安いし安いしあとあ美味しい、うん、<笑> OK guys come to Japan to try all this amazing food じゃあ sorry guys why are you saying sorry enjoy enjoy so let, me, let, him, let him eat keep eating keep eating 食べて so guys the next food I have is なんだっけモーコタンメン中から No, Moko Tan Men Chukara. The name is so long. So, guys, this is basically a lot of rice with sauce. This looks like ramen, but this is not ramen. We got rice and a lot of sauce and a lot of veggies. Tofu, tomato, and other green vegetables inside, onions as well. So, let's. I'm gonna let him try this. Yagimas! Itadakimas! Tadabi? Yeah, Tadabi. Yagimas. So. In Japanese, can you test me in Japanese? Atsui. <laughs> Atsui. Not spicy, ne? Spicy, it's not spicy. No, no, no. Very no. spicy, yo. One of the reasons I like this food because it's so hard to find spicy food in Japan, especially in convenience stores. This is the spiciest rice, probably the spiciest rice you can find in, in a convenience store in Japan. Also, very cheap. Mm, he much. likes it. He likes it. <laughs> much you might. Yo, guys, so I have one more friend now, and as you can see, He is Sushant. He's gonna try some food and tell you guys. Hello, this is Sushant.、Uh, I am in Japan for the last two and a half years. And the most favorite food from the convenience store I have ever had.、Uh, some of the viewers may laugh on me、uh, because I have been receiving green tea, green tea powder, as a birthday gift. and Green tea is very special for me. So basically, guys, this is a green tea, and Japan is known for its green tea, and people live longer apparently because of green tea. So, guys, drink green tea! It's the Japanese version of green tea, which you can find between the range of, if I, if I just say five is the extreme, so this is in the three range. Of、uh, three, the, like three、uh, in, in, in terms of your scale of. Essence, yeah.、Uh, scale essence, of essence. Essence. Of the scale of essence. All right. My favorite stuff is here now ice cream.、Yes. First one is, what is the name? So, this is、uh, Chocobar, Japan. Chocobar. So, this is got, we got Chocobar, un- only 140 yen. And it's basically a Chocobar with some sort of dry fruits inside. Yes. And I got、uh, melon, no, this is a Suica bar. Suica means watermelon. And...、Oh, it looks like a watermelon. Guys,、yes. interesting. Show yours first. So、this, is a, this is a choco bar. Choco bar. I'm gonna try it and see, tell you guys what is it like. It Damn,、good. it's it's sweet.、Mm. This is, it has, again, it's flavored, but it's got very fresh sort of taste. It's not like super sweet,、mm. it's got some sort of like flavor in it. At the same time, there is a layer here which is green. Let's try that. Ice cream in Japan, you will find it you know,、uh, with less sugar, but you know, has perfect essence of you know, sweetness. And, I agree. I mean, it's like it's good for your health. Plus, you know, you Are you sure it's good、burn. for your health? <laughs> I mean, I'm not I sure. To, I used to eat like three at a time. And, but he still got the muscles. Yeah. yeah. So I believe him. By the way, guys, in this,、uh, in this Suica bar, you also, we also got, there's also like small choco balls. So that's, that was an interesting taste. He told me that he likes tofu. So we got tofu. 120 yen. One costs like 40 yen, and one is about 150 grams of tofu, guys. This is the cheapest protein you can get in Japan. 7 Eleven ex- exclusive tofu. And it tastes like any other tofu, I guess. What、uh, do you think? It does.、Uh, but this is cheap. But this is one of the cheapest food in、tofu. Japan. Oh,、uh, yeah. And I used to have. This is my breakfast when I didn't have the time to cook food and just have to rush for the lectures. And- okay, guys, our next stop is very famous Fami Chicken. So, this is called Fami Chiki actually. Very famous Fami Chiki.、Uh, Fami Chiki is basically it's from Family Mart convenience store. That's why it's called Fami Chiki. Chiki means chicken.、Uh, this is one of my favorite and also one of his favorites. So, I'm gonna let him have it. This has also been my lunch、uh, during my busy schedules. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, for me, it is not spicy. 
but it, it tastes very good. It's very good. You know? Yes, about 160 yen, and this if you buy like a bread and this, and it fills you up for like yes, it, it does. Can, it can fill you up for a while. Pami chiki is always good and always tasty. A little spicy, so I love it. He loves it. You gotta love it too. Okay, guys. So now our next stop is. We already opened it because we couldn't wait. So pizza potato. Pizza yes. potato is one of my favorite. If you are drinking with your friends, this is what you wanna eat. It's got a lot of pizza flavor on top. Basically, the cheese and a lot of uh, tomato and other, you know. And it got very good essence. <laughs> that was mine. <laughs> This is always our favorite, I think, because it just goes well with any drink. Mm -hmm. And it's very addictive. You just want to finish it, you know? Yeah. Mm. It is... I mean, you can have this with, you know, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or, you know, just have it with yeah. any soda. And I think soda drink, soda drink really it goes, goes with well with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so next one is... Shin Ramen! This is not a Japanese food, guys, but I want this in my list because this, is, this saved my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I love this ramen because this is the spiciest ramen you can find and this is just umai. Umai means taste. Yeah. What do you think? Delicious. So, guys, if you know uh, this ramen is manufactured in which country, please put down in the comment section. I think everyone we'll knows. To, <laughs> and we would love to know yeah. your answers. Really, yeah. If you know what, where, where is this ramen from, please comment below. Uh, the number of ways you can make this thing. Uh, I use uh, my way, you know, putting some Indian spices and all and making it super, super duper spicy and uh, just fun. You know, it's just a lot of flavors. It's got uh, different fruits, extra, uh, different vegetable extracts. And it's just got a very raw, uh, spicy taste and it's just always amazing to eat this yeah. takes only like 10 minutes to cook it and Really really good again. You don't want to have this every single day because it's not very healthy So once a week once a month try this the next one is Okay Riz Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> So Riz is basically I think you can find this anywhere in the world This is also famous in I think the US uh, India, so it's open. We got three packets here one for you for me. My childhood days when I really? used to have, you know, tea with Monaco biscuit. Monaco, so that's a very famous biscuit in India, is it? Mm -hmm. Not the first time you're having it, right? Good. It's good, right? This is always good. I just love it. I wish, you know, I... I need water. It's good. Hmm. This is how it looks like. Let's do a slow motion. Ooh. Now we got some jelly. So I got mixed jelly. This is basically kudamono jelly. This is almond pudding. Uh, very rich in almond. So slippery. I mean, of course, jelly is slippery. But this one's super slippery. Oh my god, there's a lot of water in the jelly. Mmm. Oh my god. This jelly is mostly pineapple and orange. Not a big fan of pineapple, but. But it's so good. I've tried this before. Almond pudding is one of my favorite, but he took it from me and I'm trying this. No. <laughs> but this is really good. This is not so sweet, actually. It also, the perfect, right? The, the yeah. sweetness is perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, it sounds but it's a, it's a great desert for after after lunch or after dinner. Yeah. It's a great desert because not a lot of sweet. The, the texture is just perfect. Also, it's very, mm. you know, also the jelly is, the texture is very jelly, jellicious. Is that a word? Jellicious. It's really good, really good. I almost finished it, even though I'm having so much food, I can finish this because yeah. it's perfect. This never gets old, man. Yeah. We got some. I like it. So this is very famous melon pan. So melon pan, ne, sugo e yume desu ne, Nihon de. So you man. So nan de minna suki ne? Why do people like melon pan? Hmm. Naka ni custardo ga haitteru shi. Custardo. So sweet. So sweet and custard. We got custard inside, as you can see. This is. Texture. So I'm gonna try the donut, which is a mm. simple donut. Let's try it. Wow. I'm gonna try this, but next time. Mm. How about this? This is a donut. 100 yen donut. There is custard inside. Oh, donut never gets old. This is really rich. 
It's got a lot of sweet, but it's got a lot of like butter and a lot of uh, milk. Mm. 100 yen. 120 yen. What else can you get? Mm. So it's very cheap and tasty. Mm. Chicken meatball. I love so much. Okay, next one, yours. <laughs> wow, this is good. If you can see, eat chicken meatball. Mm. I love it. So it's not like super dry, it's got a little bit of juice, juicy, like it's... The texture is not so dry. I thought it's gonna be dry. Love it. So next one, we got what? Uma, uma, maibo, very famous Japanese snack. This is the cheapest food you can buy in a convenience store. Guess how much is it? Ju yen. Ju yen, 10 yen only. Oh my Wait. god. <laughs> Let's try it. Maibo wa 100 ijo no shuri ga aru. Hey, cheers. Mmm. A nostalgic snack for a lot of Japanese people because they, you know, they have this since their childhood and yeah, for me too, like, I've been eating this for a long time. So this, this one's got a lot of cheese outside and taste buds. So what he means is like, if you eat this, like, you get really thirsty. <laughs> so make sure you have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got one more snack. This is melon, yubari melon. A melon flavored uh, candy. That's right. This character is Peko-chan. Oh, it's peko -chan. Oh, peko -chan. Yeah. So there's an anime character in the plastic on the... If you see here on the front, that's a lot of candies. <laughs> Look at this. That's a lot of candies. Okay, you wanna try one? Yeah. Let's try this candy. Oh, the, the color in it is like, it looks like melon. The color is like melon. Let's try. <laughs> it's so melony, like yeah. melony. <laughs> it's so much melony, like the rich flavor, man. I love Japanese candies, like especially the fruit candies. It's like, it feels like you you have like melon in your mouth. Chewing chewing gum. Yeah, it's like the texture is like a chewing gum. It's mm. very sticky. Mm. Last one with Mitsu, I've got fit, fit the Chinegumi. Yeah, really long name, fit the Chinegumi, and this is one. Of, this is one of my favorite gummy. This gummy costs only like 120 yen. It's basically peach flavored gummy. Look down. Look down. Fit the Chinegumi. Cheers. Ah. <laughs> I'm not kidding, this is super sour. Sour guys, super sour. <laughs> because it's so sour, the peach flavor is not so dominant. And, uh, but I, I, I love it because of the sourness actually. I love the sour, this keeps you awake. Well, all right, that's it with Mitsu. Thanks so much, yep. bro. Please subscribe. <laughs> so I got the last product in my list and that's Fanta. It is sweet, not super sweet. But it's got like a lot of soda in it and the melon flavor, not very authentic melon flavor, but it's got a lot of artificial melon flavor with a little ice cream kind of stuff. If you have like watched until here, like really you are my favorite people out there watching these videos and I hope I can bring Japan to you guys, bring the things that I am experiencing here in Japan and I hope to create more and more videos, fun videos, my experience here in Japan. Uh, cinematic videos other stuff that I see here. So thanks so much again for watching guys If you have not subscribed, please subscribe, please subscribe and uh, like 